So we're going to talk all about using Zapier or Zapier to automate your B2B agency. Before we get into it, for those who don't know me, my name is Andrew and I run HubHelp and RevFuel HubHelp is an automation agency that works with B2B agencies to automate their sales marketing fulfillment processes and save at least 10 hours a week or you don't pay. So if you're interested to see if we could help you out and save 10 plus hours uh, or you don't pay, go ahead and click the link and schedule a call with our team. All right, let's talk about all things Zapier or Zapier, however you want to uh, pronounce it. So let's first talk, what is Zapier? So it's a web-based automation tool and it connects different web applications together. So you want to connect your CRM to uh, a Google Sheet. Zapier is basically the middleman that does those things. Um, and what it does, it, it creates these automated workflows, which they call zaps, um, that connect two or more of these applications. Uh, you know, maybe a, you sign up a new client, you send out an onboarding form. When they fill out that form, um, you know, that data then maybe through Zap gets sent to your CRM, which then maybe also tasks in your project management tool get created. Um, and zaps they're created based uh, or consists, excuse me, of different triggers uh, that actually start the workflow. Like I said, hey, maybe that onboarding is based on when that onboarding form is filled out. Um, there, I think there's over a thousand different applications it supports from CRMs to marketing automation tools, project management tools, you name it. There's a ton out there. Um, it's relatively easy to use for the most part. Um, you know, for someone that doesn't know how to code or really not technical you know, you can use it. It just takes a little while to set it up. And that's why a lot of agencies rely on us, especially as you grow and, and add in more and more zaps. Ultimately, it can save you time. It can e increase your productivity by automating a lot of re repetitive tasks and streamlining these workflows. So that kind of talks about what are the benefits of Zapier and just in general using automation. There's two reasons, main reasons, save you time and save you money. In terms of saving you time, there's a lot of activities that you're probably doing that can be automated through something like Zapier. Um, so, you know, if you're doing something every day and, you know, every time you onboard a client, I, you know, we have clients and it takes them or took them, I should say, close to an hour. And let's say you're onboarding two to three new clients a week. That's two to three hours of your time that you could have back to focus maybe on sales meetings uh, or you just don't have to work as much and then saving money. How is this saving you money? Well, a lot of people, what they do is when they, you know, have an agency and they're doing things, they go look to outsource these things. They find a VA that pay four, six, eight bucks an hour, or they pay someone, you know, good 20 bucks an hour, 30 bucks an hour. And a lot of those tasks, they can actually be automated. So instead of you having to pay that person, you know, five bucks an hour and, you know, they're doing something, you know, they're, the work they're doing actually could be automated uh, and they're doing roughly 10 hours a week. Well, that's 50 bucks a week that you could save that, you know, compared to the cost of Zapier, it's, it's definitely worth it. So there's, those are two main benefits of automating and, and using Zapier. And I'd say a third um, that's not in here is, you know, talking about basically taking a tool like Zapier and, you know, uh, to replace or replace partially what a VA can do is, humans mess up. Um, Zapier, obviously it's the software can mess up, but you know, the chances of it messing up uh, are a lot slimmer compared to that human error. So now let's talk about where can you use Zapier within your agency? You know, I classify as agencies, um, you know, there's, there's four main, you know, you could say departments or components. Um, you know, there's obviously your sales and your marketing, which kind of go hand in hand, you know, before you have your customers and then you have your onboarding, which, you know, for agencies, it can be a big part. So I break that apart. And then obviously you have your actual client fulfillment work. So really sales and marketing are together and then onboarding and client fulfillment are a separate, you know, or another group you could batch together. So talking about where can you use Zapier specifically for sales? Um, there's a lot of places, you know, you're probably getting data um, from maybe a tool like an Apollo uh, or a Seamless or a Zoom Info. You can use Zapier to send that data over to, uh, you know, your sales engagement tool, maybe a tool like an Instantly um, or a Melody, for example, or you're putting it directly in your CRM like a HubSpot or a Close.io. Um, you can send that data instead of manually downloading it 
and then sending it, you know, then uploading that CSV that can all be automated. Um, you know, you can also automate, you know, when, uh, leads are created. So for example, if you're using a tool like Calendly to book meetings, when that meeting is booked, you can have that, all that information automatically create a lead and an opportunity in your CRM. So it's all tracked that name, that title, that email, that phone number, whatever information we can go ahead and automatically store in your CRM. You know, think if you had to manually do that, if you're booking two meetings a day and you have to manually do that, okay, maybe that takes you five minutes each time. Maybe there's more to it. You know, with us, every time we book a meeting, we create a drive folder um, in, you know, which is in a subfolder of all of our perspective, our discovery calls. And that folder, ha you know, for each prospective customer has the customer's name. Um, you know, then there's an actual document for it with like a template of a, you know, sales meeting checklist. All of that is automated. You know, every time we booked a meeting that, you know, used to take us probably about 15 minutes to update the CRM, uh, you know, to create these different folders, all this stuff now that takes, it doesn't take as much time at all, really, you know, because a lot of it's obviously automated. Um, and that all that automation can also be done throughout their, your entire sales process, you know, creating these task reminders to make sure opportunities don't slip through the cracks. Uh, a lot of companies we talk to, they really one, they don't really use their CRM. Um, and if they do, they don't really have like good reminders in place and, and, and things to make and make sure that things don't slip through the cracks. So using a tool like Zapier can make sure that, hey, nothing falls through the cracks. Here's reminders. Hey, this deal's a week old. You haven't reached out. Let's reach out. Um, so there's other ways, obviously you can use it for your sales process as well. Um, you know, you could use that, let's say, uh, you know, you want to go ahead and create reports and maybe you're going to use a tool like Airtable. You can send data from your CRM to create custom reports in Airtable and you would use Zapier to, or Zapier to connect that information. So now let's talk about on the marketing side of things, you know, how can you use Zapier to automate? And I realize I'm saying Zapier and Zapier. I always go back and forth, but marketing, uh, you know, a great way is using it to automate posting social media content, uh, you know, whether it's on, um, you know, Instagram or TikTok uh, or YouTube, wherever it may be, you can automate a lot of those things through Zapier. Um, another way is being able to segment your email lists, uh, you know, maybe as you get leads from different sources, maybe from inbound via Twitter or LinkedIn or your website. Uh, you know, you can use Zapier to put these uh, contacts on, on, on specific lists and then maybe send them specific information um, as well. So as you're going through the sales and marketing process, and now we're basically getting to the point where, hey, we're going to sign new clients, you know, which could this could technically still under fall under sales. You know, you need to send over a contract to them and you could use a tool like a PandaDoc to send that over and zap, you know, as an opportunity hits that, hey, I'm going to send a contract in my CRM press a quick button, contracts automatically created with all the information that can be pulled from your CRM, you know, the company name, the contact information, the details of the service, the pricing that can all be automated. So you don't have to manually fill that in. And then that can automatically send it over to them. And then, you know, whether it's through Zapier or a tool like PandaDoc, these reminders will go out, Hey, they still haven't signed it. You know, let's make some tasks for that salesperson to follow up. And then obviously, of course, you know, we can use Zapier for, you know, creating invoices. Uh, you know, when we had clients sign on in terms of that whole onboarding process, it probably took us a little over an hour between, you know, the creating the contract, sending that out. Although we technically don't consider that onboarding, it's still sales, but creating the contract, creating the invoice, um, you know, and then when a client officially signs, they come on, there's so many things that need to be done, you know, sending an automatic welcome email to them. Uh, that can be automated and you can customize that pretty well. And, you know, from there, you might have an onboarding form that ne they need to fill out. And let's say you have customers that they are not filling that onboarding form out right away. You want to give them a little nudge a few days later, that can all be automated. You know, for us, we have different folders that are created for each client. We move folders, you know, within from sales to the official client folders within those folders, there's multiple documents and templates. We have a little over 15 that are created every time a new client comes on that can automatically be done. You know, you can automatically invite them to Slack if that's where you want to have communication with them. Um, you know, you can automatically create a, uh, a tasks in your project management tool. We use ClickUp uh, internally and every time a new client comes on, 
that client, you know, they have their own name. And then there's all these, you know, onboarding tasks for our team assigned to different people that are automatically created, which then gets into the client, you know, fulfillment side of things. Obviously, I mentioned project management, you can have tasks for different reminders, you know, to make sure that projects, whatever you're doing, whatever your deliverables are, are moving, you know, through and there's no delays on your team's end. You can create weekly client reports, whether you're a legion agency and you want to provide them updates on you know, how many cold emails you sent, what were open rates, reply rates, all of those reports can automatically be created through Zapier and then automatically sent out, let's say every Monday or Friday for them. Um, and then in terms of creating new deliverables, you know, in terms of client fulfillment, obviously every client is different, whether you lead gen or short form or marketing or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, there's a lot of the zaps really depend uh, in terms on you know, like your specific business and what you offer. But there's a lot of things that can be automated within your fulfillment um, that people don't think of. And the biggest takeaway is, you know, look at things that sure something that takes an hour and you can automate that's great but these little things that take a few minutes here a few minutes there those add up if you have 50 different tasks throughout a week that you know take a few minutes to do you know it's kind of like okay i'll create this folder it takes me 30 seconds but you have to do that multiple times a week and then there's like again 50 other tasks like that this is hours and this is how we help clients save at least 10 hours a week usually more We've helped some companies save, you know, 20, 30 hours. We've, we've almost, in a sense, like helped replace our whole role for them through automation. And yes, it's these big things, but it's all these little activities that don't take a ton of time that you realize, wow, why am I wasting my time creating this folder or naming this document or just duplicating this document? I can automate it. And once you do that and see that, you're going to realize whatever I've been doing with my life, I have so much time back to either not work as much or you can scale to the next level. So that's it. Again, if you are interested in seeing if we can help you out, go ahead and book a call on our team's calendar and we will talk.